Hello! In this video tutorial you will learn how to create an assignment in WebAssign using questions from a textbook. Assignments are how you give your students work in WebAssign. An assignment is a set of questions or problems that you want your students to answer. Once you have created an assignment you can use it in any of your courses. To use textbook questions in your assignment, you must first have created a course using that textbook. To use textbook questions in your assignment, you must first have created a course using that textbook. To start creating your assignment, click Assignments and then Create. As you can see, the assignment editor opens for you to create your assignment. Under Assignment Settings, select an assignment template. The assignment template contains all of the default settings to apply to your assignment. These include such things as gradebook category, the number of submissions to allow, and what feedback and learning tools should be provided to your students. WebAssign provides several default assignment templates that you can choose from. If you would like to create your own assignment templates, the online help contains information about how to do this. Just search the help for assignment template. Under Assignment Content, type a name for your assignment. The name is how the assignment is listed in WebAssign. If you would like, provide a description of the assignment and instructions for completing the assignment. These fields are optional. You can use them to provide more information to your students. To add questions to your assignment, click the Question Browser button. The Question Browser opens in a new window. The textbooks and question resources you are using in your courses are listed in the question browser. Select the textbook chapter associated with the assignment you are creating. Information is then displayed about the questions that are available for the selected chapter. If different kinds of questions are available, these are listed along with the number of available questions. To view the specific questions, click the set of questions you want to view or click View All. The questions are listed in the question browser. To add a question to your assignment, click Add beside the name of the question. The question is added to the Manage Questions list on the right. You can click the trash can icon beside the question to remove it from the list. When you have added all the questions you would like to use for this assignment, Click Update Assignment. If you added a lot of questions, you might need to scroll to the bottom of the list to see this button. When you click Update Assignment, the Question Browser window closes and the questions are added to your assignment. By default, each new question you add to your assignment is worth one point for each question part. A question with only one part is worth one point, and a question with eight parts is worth eight points. You can change the point value for each question individually, or you can change the total points for the assignment as a whole. To change the point value for an individual question, click in the points column for that question and edit the points. To change the total points for the assignment, click edit at the top of the points column, type a new value for total, and click distribute. The total points you specify are distributed evenly among all of the questions on the assignment. When you are finished, click Save. Your assignment is saved to your My Assignments list and can now be used in any of your courses. Now that you have created an assignment, you can schedule it to the course. An assignment must be scheduled to a course for your students to work on it. There are many options you can set for your assignments. You can add question pools, allow students to show their work, set automatic bonus or penalty conditions, and much more. For more information or to view other video tutorials, click Help in the top right of the WebAssign application.